Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick video. I wanted to talk about mixing up kits and um, proportions and all that stuff. Sometimes it's very risky to mix up a kit, like taking limbs from one place to the other, because you want it to still be very proportionate. Um, so sometimes I look at the measurements. How I do that is I go to like MacPherson website and I look at the measurements. If the head circumference is about the same and the arms, the length of the baby is supposed to be about the same and their thickness. So then I usually order the kit first, both kits, and I look at them. I switch their parts as a blank, put it together on a body and get an idea. If it looks like it's too off or something is just not flowing right, I usually won't do it. But if it looks like it's okay, I will. Um, I know that the community, part of the community frowns upon mixing up the babies, the kits, and some are okay with it. Um, I typically like to, when I'm painting for babies to sell, I typically like to just keep it as the whole kit. Um, for one, I'd, I'd be confused, which COA should I send? You know, that type thing. Um, or, you know, what do you call it? Is it a Casa Breast baby or is it a Bonnie Brown baby? You know, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things. Um. But I think you have to do whatever works for you. Um, I don't know, like, you know, for some people, they may think it's less valuable if it's mixed up. Let me know. Do you think that a baby should cost less if it's mixed parts or is it more valuable? In my opinion, I'm tell you what my opinion is and how I see it. It is, if it comes out really well, it is more expensive because I had to take two kits. <laughs> so, like, um, by the time you mix two kits together... You've spent about two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars, depending on how much the kits were. You spent that amount of money um, on just the kit itself, not even painting, then eyes and all that stuff. Um, so Zora is one that I, you know, she was pretty pricey if you really think about it. And then also the leftover parts I just have here is kind of like you're wasting parts, and if, maybe down the road I can be able to use them for something else. So I don't get rid of them or anything like that. Um, waiting um, the babies is another thing. Um, my little babies, I want their head to be able to fall forward. So I usually put the weight and the, the glass beads towards the face so that it can, the head will drop like a newborn baby would. Um, my bigger babies, I, I kind of want their head to be able to sit up. I want them to be able to hold their head up because they should at this stage be holding their head up. And I want them to be able to sit up on their own for the most part. So with her, I'm not sure if I want to keep her like this, but I kind of like her like this. I weighted her so she's really, really stuffed up here in the chest part. But that's because I want her to be able to hold her head up still. But she still kind of has a flop to her where when I pick her up, she just falls on my chest. Like when I see when I pick her up, she like almost instantly just her head like falls to my chest. Because she still got a cuddle factor to her, even though she's a big baby. <laughs> now this, this this onesie is like a nine month onesie, so it's too too small technically, but we we made it work. So um, yeah, so I didn't want her to be super stiff. Um, now I did do something I normally um, don't do, but with the bigger babies, I don't want them to be overly heavy. So I weighted her all the way up to about her knees with glass beads and then I push the rest with uh polyfill and then she has glass beads inside of her bum bum and then she has polyfill inside here and then polyfill and glass beads in her head so that she's like she has a weight to her she doesn't feel like I'm picking up a teddy bear or anything else her body weight feels natural for a baby this size but not overly weight heavy um Sometimes you might be like, okay, I don't know, I have to put her on a scale. You might say, like, maybe she's nine pounds or eight pounds. And you might say, oh, that's really light for her size. But because these babies are not, like, fluid, like real children, they're not moving around on their own, and their weight is not shifting and everything, it feels heavier on them. So you don't want to overweight them to the where they just feel so heavy. It's like you're straining to pick them up. Um, so I, I feel like she has a really good weight. Um... The next thing is deciding the gender. So when the sculptors sculpt them, they sculpt them from either a female baby or a male baby, a boy or a girl. Um, they 
some babies look very, very gender specific. Like, you're like, okay, this baby can't be nothing but a boy. And some babies, they have a face where you can go either way. I feel like her face can go either way. She would make a really, really cute boy and she'll make a really, really cute girl. But when I painted her, I painted her to be a girl. But I wasn't sure which way she was going because I was like, oh my gosh, I think she's kind of turning to be more a boy. But at the end of the day, um, can you look this way? Thank you, baby. Um, at the end of the day, I made her a, a girl. Um, and I plan to root her as such and keep her girl. Um, I love her eye color, everything. She has like big brown eyes and they're not like super light brown. Um, but she has, um, she has a nice color eyes. And so what? And she has like gums. I don't know. You can't really see it, but she has gums and just tongue and stuff like that. Um, the so again, like I said, the picking out the sculpts and mixing them is definitely a personal preference. It's a challenge. I thought about different kits that would work. Um, for her, I think proportions is hard for the sculptors as well because I notice, you know, some kids have like really small feet for their size or really big feet for their size or really big hands or small hands. I typically usually like um, the bigger feet and bigger hands on babies. Um, but I do feel like the limb hands are like really, really big, but limb has a bigger head which gives him, you know, a bigger presence. And so her head circumference, I think, is like a 16 and his is like a 17 and a half. So it's like an inch and a half difference. But see, what people don't realize is that also the shape of the head and all that makes it look, either makes it look bigger or smaller and all that stuff. So all that stuff play, comes into play. Like you can have two 20 inch babies and one look so much different. And then the maturity in their face like some babies have a very newborny look and they're 20 inches, but then a 20 inch baby that might have more like a three month or a six month old size. It's just so many factors go into when you're deciding what you're gonna do. Um, I don't mean to bash anyone that used the original limbs on this sculpt. Let me be clear on that. Um, it just was a personal preference for me and I did not like them. Um, I didn't like them on a plane, on a train. I didn't like them Sam I am, but that's just was my opinion. Um, if I would have painted them, I had already put in my head how I was going to paint them so I could kind of camouflage all the extra rolls in it so that it wouldn't, I wasn't going to highlight those rolls. But I just rather not if I could. And if she wasn't so big, I would put her on hand mitts too. But she's a big baby and big baby this size would normally not be wearing no hand mitts. So it is what it is. But anyway, that's the backstory on this little girl. I'm hoping, like I said, to get her like some curly hair. Mm, this stuck to your earring. Um, so I'm hoping to get her some curly hair, maybe. Um, good, you know, good enough for some pigtails. Um, I Baby pigtails, though. I don't want her to have like super long hair. So I want to still keep her very baby. So... Nine times out of ten, she'll be rooted with mohair. Um, she may be muted, rooted, blah, 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 muted, rooted with human hair. Depending on how Lulu hair turns out, um, I may use what's left over from Lulu into her head. But we're just going to have to see how that curl pattern turn out for me. Um, so yeah, so that's that. And anyway, guys, like I said, I just wanted to make a couple videos all at once while I can because... I have to sit down and just do my videos all at once, guys. Or I just won't get to it. So, yeah. Again, always feel free to let me know if there's any questions you have. I'll try to address them in the next video. And we'll just keep it moving like that. Um, I'm trying to come on more like I used to when I first started my YouTube channel. And, like, do actually videos where I'm actually sitting in the camera. I had got away from that, but... I'm trying to get back into it. It's kind of hard because I'm so used to just having the video like cut from here. <laughs> so um, a lot has gone on with me. I've been like very, very, that's a whole nother video. Of why it's partially why I kind of like shy away from coming on camera. 
um you know life you know we i don't know so i'm working on me working on trying to get more content out for you guys different content get back into the groove of things of how i used to be and we will see but anyway guys next time and see you guys later say bye aunties oh she's like one of my favorite babies right now i don't know what it is about this girl but i love her so much say hey tt she already got a look she already got a god my mom that it already got her hands on her she like listen don't send her nowhere but to me <laughs> say mama, mama won't forget mama won't forget because you know how mama get mama be like oh okay i'm over it now <laughs> but right now i'm just loving her so much she just i don't know it's like something about her like her face just looks so life like every time i would see this sculpt i would just be like oh my gosh i love that face when it first came out i love the face but then when the limbs came out, i was like oh I like the limbs so i never bought it and then i'm not really wanting to like to switch as much the limbs out so i was just like mm, i'll pass but after i got memphis and i'm just so in love with memphis i was like i'm gonna just try another cast brace kit <laughs> So I absolutely, I love, because I love Cassie Bray's faces. I just normally don't particularly care for the feet size or the limbs as much. But yeah, um, she got some ones out there that I really, really like. And so I'm really, really loving um, this face. And I think I, I want to paint another one. So I'm thinking about painting another one. And maybe I'll do try a different set of limbs. Who knows? I'll be, look, I'll be the limb switcher. <laughs> Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to go um, and we will, like I said, see you in the next video. Bye.